Hi, I'm Claudine Helmuth and I'm at the Ranger booth at the NAMTA show and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little necklace. First we're going to make a bead using the Claudine Helmuth Studio sticky back canvas that I've cut into a rec uh, triangle here. And I'm going to just take off the backing paper and stick it to my nonstick craft sheet. I'm going to paint this using my Claudine Helma Studio acrylic paints. I'm going to use classic teal and landscape green. It looks really nice if you go from dark to light. So I'm going to start with the classic teal up at the top. And then move to the landscape green towards the bottom. I'm going to give this a quick dry with the craft tool. Wipe up any of my excess. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm going to peel it up off of the craft sheet. And to make the bead, I'm going to wrap it around one of my paint brushes here and around the handle. I'm going to put a little bit of the clear emboss it on just so that then the sticky back won't stick to that end of the brush handle. And you take the fat end of the triangle and start to roll it onto itself. And because it's sticky, once you get it going, it'll roll on wonderfully. Now I like to stretch it a little bit as I go, get a nice bead. Even though the sticky back is sticky, I'm going to put a little bit of my multi-medium gel medium on the end there just to secure it so that when I wear it as a necklace, I don't have to worry about it unraveling. So now I have my bead and I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to it using the Perfect Pearls. This is the Perfect Pearls in Perfect Pearl. I'm just going to dip the other end of my brush into the Perfect Pearls and dust it on. This will just give it a little bit of shimmer. I like to move it around with my fingers. So you can add that until you feel your bead is nice and shiny. And then I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of water from my mini mister. This will set the perfect pearls because they have resins in the powder. So that will set them. And I can dry that quickly just with the heat tool. All right. So now I'm going to make my necklace. And I have the Speedalon silver wire that I've cut to about um, 16 inches. And I'm going to thread my beads on here. I'm going to add a couple of uh, little glass beads on either side, just for interest. And then the sticky back canvas bead. So it's looking pretty good right now. I'm just going to add my closure. I've started one end here, and these are the easy crimp findings from Beetalon. I'm just going to thread my wire in here and using the mighty crimper, just give it a little squeeze. And now my necklace is all finished and ready to wear. Here are a couple other colors, just so you could see. A really simple, easy way to make a gift using sticky back canvas paint and perfect pearls.